What's up guys, my name is Deft and welcome back to some more Slender, The Arrival. And I, um, well, we're gonna have to do some stuff again. Uh, because apparently I didn't even make it to a checkpoint, I made so much progress. But, um, I pulled up this note as I was trying to get myself to where I left off, and I don't think that I found this last time. So, to K. Mullins at served at adv.co from unknown sender yada 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 anyway thanks for calling last night it probably sounds dumb but it was good to hear your voice again good to hear that lauren's been doing really well too but yeah about what we about what all about what all we said I'm not sure to think I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really be just be a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. CR. But alright, so yeah, apparently we made so much progress that uh Oh those pails. Oh no. Let's see, that's, that's the zoom. That is, what is that? It's doing something. Maybe that's crouch. Yeah, so, all right, let's get ourselves that key, open up the door, ooh, spooky. Then, um, then jump scare ourselves. And then that's pretty much as far as we made it last time. So let's speed run this, this bad boy. Da, da, da. Yeah, pretty sure we read that already. Let's see here. Now, it is not quite night here. Let's see. Can do that. What are you? Oh, flashlight. Oh, I was in a different place this time. How about you? Ah, honoring the life of Beth Hayes. Oh. Ah. Oh dear! What was that? Are you out there? Hello? Alright. So! Let's get that key. Okay, that's the bedroom. I don't believe it was in the bedroom. Ooh, there's a door. And is it in here? Or does it move? I think this is where I got the key last time. So I guess it moved. That's kind of cool. And it's not always in the same place. There are more peels. Lots and lots of meds. Alright, do I have the key already? Just... No. Alright then. So where is it then? Where is it this time around? Is it... By the bed? I don't think it'd just be lying on the ground somewhere. That'd be... That'd be a little too much effort for something so minor, so early on. What was that? B bathtub! Don't chip out at me like that. Okay, seriously then. Maybe it's down here. I just remember it being either upstairs or in that garage room. I think it was upstairs. So let's look around here then. Let's... See, do do do. I'm scanning through everything. You were locked. Plus, you lead outside, and the key shouldn't be in outside. That'd be silly. No. For, okay. If it is, ooh, what are you? One. Hey, Kate. It's been a while since we last spoke, wasn't it? Hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes I'd like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on our adventures? Ghost hunting, we called it. Well... I don't know how exactly you could sneak out and get to her house. This is the only house for miles around, it seems. So that is that is a little irresponsible of you. Okay, let's see. We'd shine the flashlight through the trees and 
jump at every little insignificant noise. <laughs> oh, oh, devs, you clever bastards. Our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could remind, rewind back to then. Seems like everything after that just wasn't as good for both of us. So let's see what she crossed out. Let's see if I can read that. How long has it been again? It's been at least a couple of years, wasn't it? She was always kind of mean to me. Maybe she actually knew about us sneaking out all the time. Guess we'll never. Sorry, ignore all, no girl. Yeah, ignore all of that. I started rambling too much anyway. Please let me hear from you soon. I know we have been less than normal for you lately, so I just wanted to check in. CR. Alrighty. Oh, we're finding all sorts of goodies that I don't think we found before. So, okay, are you over here? Seriously, where is this key? I swear on the grave of my fish that it was right here. There was something there, but it was a note. It was not a key. Oh, boy. I don't know how much you guys want to be uh, watching this. So I think I'm going to, okay, I think I'm going to skip ahead to when I find the key, if I find the key. When I find the key, what am I talking about? Psh, how about the Transformers room? Is that, that is the key here in the Transformers room. Alrighty, so it is now at the end of the hall. All right, open it up. Oh, spooky. All right, so was there something to grab in here? No, this is when we get this no uh, this music, and then we get a ah! wait for it. Oh, nope, that wasn't the game sort of loading during the ambience. What was that? I wanted to read that. There it is. Oh man, before that last little little curve of that scream. Sounded like sounded like a whistle. Sounded like a creature of sorts. Who knows? It might may may be. Sorry. Let's yeah. Let's see. Let's exit through the garage here. And now we step out. And where did we go before? Well, I think. I think we want to find that 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 jump scare that there was before or some let's see did this gate open that gate is still well maybe I can open it no, I cannot okay so I guess we gotta leave the backyard I'm sorry we're replaying so much but that's all right. These episodes are, ooh, flashback. Um, da da da. These are gonna be like a half hour or something like that. We'll see though, cause I knew that I had an hour to get. I had an hour to record. Not that I had to record, but I wanted to. I felt in the mood. Here we are. All right. But yeah, I knew that I had an hour, and I had to use the bathroom, that took me a little bit. Ew, there's something up ahead. That is one of the generators, I believe. Yes, it is. Sorry, is that the goal? I'm not sure. Um, ooh. Ooh, eerie. Spotlights. All right, so let's continue our way along. Let's see. Let's see if this path will lead us anywhere. That we. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is that just. Woo! There it goes. Now I'm getting the spoopies. Come on, bruh. Come at me, bruh. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's just how he's supposed to be or if he just so happened to be on top of the hill as I was coming by. But so, which way do I go? I don't know if I can climb that high, but he's kind of in my way right now if that's the case. 
Oh yeah, I actually think I'm going that way. Oh, there it goes. All right. Onward we go. Ooh. Ah! Are you in front of me then? Or are you behind me? I probably couldn't even see you if you were. Oh, I think I'm still following the path. I think. Yes, this is the path. So do I go that way or do I go this way? Let's go this way. There we go. There's the next generator. Alrighty. Boom. Alright, so it seems to just be lighting our way. Now, we've been this way. We crossed over the uh, noisy water. There you are again, Slendy. Now you're watching over me. He's like my guardian angel. I think he's just making sure I'm, I'm alright. Ah! There he goes. Look at him. See, Slendy ain't all that bad. Nobody, nobody really knows what his intentions are. I don't know if, uh, if he, if he, if he gets me, does it, does the death screen say you died? Or does it just say try again? Unless it says you died, then we don't know what he does. Maybe he just wants us to, uh, join him on a tea party. Let's see, that lights this up and then it just ended up being a dead end. Except for, uh, creepy house on the hill over there. But let's... Ooh. Path seems to lead this way. I didn't go this way. I don't know if I even have to. Ooh, I see stuff. I see stuff. Ha ha! Alright. Is that the end of the fence? I don't even know if we can go that way. But there's stuff over here! So let's go off the beaten path now. Well, yeah, the path's still leading this way. Ooh. Oak side park. Does it say something? Under oh, it sort of like said something underneath, and then my flashlight made me unable to to read it. What is that in the distance? Uh. But we can go inside. Ooh. And then the base returns. We got some materials. Um, that can help us survive. We got some. Got some bleach and gasoline and all sorts of lovely items. They can be used to make up a cocktail of death. Alright, we got some high voltage. Ooh. What, is this really such a big spooky moment? Oh, the hand! Okay, so what, what, oh, this is why it was worthy of, of sound effects. He came for me. Why didn't I listen? He was right. He said this would happen. Help me. Need CR. He knows how to end this. Come find me. Don't let him in. Oh, memories. Oh. Slender. The arrival. Okay, wow. That was all an intro segment. Holy crap. Wow, I am... I'm not very good at this, am I? <laughs> oh man, like a 45 minute first episode. And I come through and just so happen to notice something that I didn't notice. Maybe my brightness was too low. I don't even remember what the brightness is at. I said it like midway. Did did this room suddenly get change colors? Wasn't this didn't this all give off like a blue glow? Now it gives off a purple one. Yeah, everything's like purple now. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, everything still sounds like I'm inside. Alright, looks like it's just leading us down this way. You see, Oakside Park has three canoes available for rental. What was that? That just happens normally when I go over there. It makes me walk slow. Okay. Apparently we got some bad memories of that uh, canoe rental place. What are you? One dimensional ferns. Well, plant life per se, probably not ferns. I cannot see a damn thing. Guess that's part of the part of the 
atmosphere. But all right. Ooh, moving sounds. The previous random. Oh no, there's another sound effect that stays in one ear and doesn't move while I move. But that cricket moved, I think. Anybody, huh? Ooh, is this one of eight pages collected? Oh shit, it's on now. Oh, there's that. There's that ambient side recognize anywhere. God damn, I can't see. Oh, the Slendy comes for thee. Okay, but this is this is a fence, and I can't jump. I can't climb. I'm unathletic. Oh me, oh my, you still behind me? Oh yeah, he's he's back there. He just didn't move. Woo! Give me the jump, alright. Slendy off to a running start. Oh there he is again! Oh dear. Woo! Woo, that got my heart a racing. Okay. Gotta take it easy, bud. Take it easy. I've only got one page. This is easy mode. This should be. I think I chose like normal as my difficulty. But things should not be so difficult right off the bat. I swear. Things started off nice and smooth. Ooh, what's going on? Where are you? Where you at, boy? There you are. I see you. I see you. I don't think I don't. I see something red in the distance, though, and I want it. I want the red. But you're blocking my path. Damn, though. This is like normal difficulty, I think. And he is on my ass. Maybe he's supposed to. I don't know. It's been a little while since I've watched someone play this. Nobody following me. I did a whole 360 and I'm still kicking. Alright, I I'm I do not have the best sense of direction, but I know where I'm trying to go. Cause you got the fence there. It seems like the area behind us is sort of the blocked off portion. So let's continue forward. Whoa! Okay. Man, those the noises kill more than anything. It's so loud. There's the tent. Oh, there's a fire now. There was not a fire before. That was the red I was chasing down. It's all flickery, though. The flickering doesn't make it look all that much more realistic, though. It's still like one-dimensional fire. Man, I am just ripping this game. I swear. I, <laughs> I apologize. Oh, that's... Is that the shack we came from? Yeah, that is. I guess let's go this way. Kind of surprised though, the first time we reach sort of an open area. What is that, huh? Is that a bunny rabbit? Is that a flare? What is the purpose of that? I've got two pages! I've got two pages. Ooh, there's a watchtower. I believe that was good. No, it was like a radio tower. Yeah, that's a water tower. You're not going to give me another page this soon, are you? Ooh, you are! Okay! We're on a roll! And the ambience is stepping up. Okay. So there are some rocks blocking us off. Let's, I guess, continue strolling. I think we're still going downhill away from the area we began. But yeah, as I was saying before, I kind of got distracted by the progress I was making. That's another page! I'm going to try not to get distracted here. I... It'd be a little odd if it were to simply throw me into like a dead end, so as soon as... Where? Where are you, bud? Oh, there you are. Howdy. I'm just gonna keep on keeping... Oh, there you... You're teleporting all over the place, man. That ain't fair. I mean, no, that's sort of one of your... One of your powers. You gone? No, no he's still there. Alright. So we got some crates over here. Better make sure I don't miss this page as I'm walking by. That is gonna be my strategy. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Ah, oh, there we are. All right, now let's try not to back ourselves into a corner here. So let's run straight through. Huh. We got five. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where? 
Where are you? I don't see it. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi, Slendy. Watching over me, making sure the wolves don't get me. You're so con you're such a nice guy, man. I'm glad to have you as a friend. Where are you? I don't see you, bud. Where are you? Everywhere I look, I'm all, I'm all glitchy. Oh, I don't even know what to. I don't even know how to describe that distor distortion besides glitchiness. All right, so let's continue on our way now. Keep feeling our way through. I yeah, let's go this way. There's a path showing us the way downtown. Oh, there's that tower again. No, you're a different one. The last one was a water tower. This one is a a, a tower tower. Yeah, the ladder's broken, but there's another page. Okay, I am just good. I guess I have a better sense of direction than I thought I did. Oh, there's a fence, though. So, I guess let's head back down. Yeah, it's gonna get tougher, though. Oh, there he is. It's gonna get tougher once I start finding the pages and I sort of lose my momentum as I sweep across the lands, you know? Ooh, there's a jeep. We are just finding all sorts of landmarks. There is page number seven. Where are there you are? Hey, yeah, boy, I'm hearing ringing in my ears. Although ringing in your ears is typically only if, like, you hear an explosion or something and it damages your ears, or if it's just dead silent. But this is totally not dead silent. There ain't any explosions around, I don't think. Okay, though, I'm just feeling my way through. Holy crap. I swear, though, if, if, if someone leaves a comment and says, you know, like, oh, it adapts, to, it adapts around you. You know, no matter where you wander, you'll sort of find your way around eventually. Then, ooh, peering right in my path there. He's keeping me awake. See, Slendy's a nice guy. He's he's saying, "Oh, you falling asleep, bud? Let me just, you know, give you a little, give you a little shocker so you can, you know, stay awake and alert. Continue finding your pages." But I, no, I don't think it does. I think I've just gotten lucky, just wandering my way around. And just happening to find my way to all the right places. So now what happens when I find the eighth? Where do I go on to the next part? Eh, there will probably be some plot or something. Or I'll teleport. Or there will be like a fast travel of sorts. So okay, last page. I haven't seen a landmark in a little while, but... This is sort of more of the regular page. Where? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Man, he just glows in the dark, doesn't he? Well, you kind of have to. It is super duper dark, and if as dark as everything else were around me, he was. There's that fire again. I guess I'll use that for direction. So I've been all over throughout that area. So let's... Where? Oh! Getting awfully cold. You are super tall. I forget how tall you are in the, the legends, according to the creepy past. Is, I think you're like eight feet tall or something. Maybe I'm just short. Maybe I'm just short. Maybe I'm thinking of myself in real life. In real life, I'm I'm tall. I wouldn't say tall-ish, but, eh, not that much taller. You know, like, like, just, just a little above average, I guess you could say. Oh no, where are you? Where are you, Slendy? Where are you? I don't see you. I don't know which way to go. I'm getting it over there, so I'm guessing you're over there, though. That's where I want to go, man. Whoop, there he is. All right. There we go. Let's continue on our merry way. There he is. He is just all over the place. But we got seven pages. Where are you now? There he is. Yeah, he's just... He's just following us everywhere we go. Okay. Hush, hush. Camera? Maybe it's the, just the camera glitching out that's making all this weird noise and distortion because this surely ain't my eyes. I surely... Well, eh, Slendy does make you hallucinate. Yeah, maybe he's trying to prevent me from getting where I want to go. I'm trying to go... Well, eh, yeah, there's the back corner. Now he's blocking off the back corner. Seriously, where is this last page? I don't know. I'll feel my way to it in time, I'm sure. I've been sprinting this whole time, yet I don't seem to be uh, running out of sprint very often. I don't know. Maybe I've just got things at the right pace. But alright, let's try heading back uphill. I don't really trust going up hills, because I feel like he's just going to peek out over the hill and be like, Hey bud, how's it going? 
Not that that'd be scary or anything. There's that Jeep again. Okay, so we didn't. Go, we sort of took a turn when we hit the Jeep. So maybe it'll be somewhere over here by the rocks or something. Maybe this corner is where I have not been yet. Where was he? Is he up there? Yeah, he's up there. So I can climb hills, apparently. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of at the edge here. Sorry. Right. So there's the Jeep with its headlights shining. Where is he now? There he is, I think. I think I saw him. So let's go this way, Dan. But, seriously. I don't know. Maybe, oh, there's that. Tower again. Maybe it's a different tower. Maybe there are three towers. No, that's definitely the same tower. Well, it's heavily lit. No, it's... Ooh. A little close for comfort there, buddy. You're breathing down my neck. That's a little rude, don't you think? We are friends, right? Well, then again, maybe he just wants a hug. Okay, maybe it was over here. And we've just found our way back here. Maybe there were two in this area here. I don't want to explore this too much. It's a tight space. And I'm claustrophobic. Let's see, that appears to be the corner. Hey, bud. How's it going? I mean, I'll give you that hug as soon as I'm done collecting these pages. Got a little... Got other things to do. Hey! Hey, I'm just walking past. Chill, bro. Chill, dog. Just walking on past. I ain't, I ain't invading your space. Okay, he is all over the place. Maybe I'm getting close. Maybe it is over the... I don't know. I looked through enough. I think I would have seen one. And there was already one there, so... I don't know. Let's see. I... am not very sure. But I am just gonna continue to wander. Hmm. Man, I have been on seven pages. Quite the while. Just sort of found my way one after the other after the other. And that was early on. Now, just kind of hunting down that last one. There's the fire. We're on the other side now. There's another, but maybe this isn't the one I came from. No, that is totally the one I came from. Maybe there was one on the back of it. I don't know. Let's explore. Let's see if there's one hiding on the back side or something. Oh, wait a sec. Information center. This isn't where I was before. It's in here then. It's got to be in here. All right. So. Oh, this is eerie. I don't. I want to. Oh, this is gonna be tough to not back myself into a corner when he shows up like that. Oh, look at that hand. Look at that gangly hand. Popping out. I ain't even running. Okay then. So if you're back there, let's run back in. Hopefully you don't teleport in my way again. It's popping up. It's getting less. Let's see, where are you, Paige? You are totally in here. Oh, there he is. Let's turn around. Okay. Man, he is just all up in my grill. I should have gotten this one first. I should have definitely gotten this one first, because this is going to be really tricky. <laughs> Cause he's gonna pop out and then I'm gonna have to turn around and maybe it isn't even in here no it has to be this is this is just too much of a landmark to not have a page somewhere in here okay we have just looped our way through here several times and I've got a feeling that I would have found it, though maybe there's a single room where it happens to be that I've missed. But let's check the outside, just in case. Oh, Slendy. Slendy, bro, don't worry about me. I'm just doing some laps, getting my jog on, bro. No, it's not on the, not on the outside. So... Okay, where have I not been? I swear I was along that set. Oh, Slendy, I wanted to go in there. I think that was a room I haven't been in. Okay, are you gone or are you behind me? Can I go in now? Is it my turn? Is it my turn to go in here? Let's see, page, page, page. I am totally fucked if I don't. There it is! Yes! The ambience is dying down. 
Is that me? Ah! Oh! It did teleport me. We're watching some cutscenes of sorts. Yeah! Look at that. Am I moving? Am I choosing it? Yeah, I'm moving myself. Woo! Got some imitation cutscenes here. Okay. Alright, I guess it didn't matter which direction I ran. It was all, it was just an interactive cutscene. As Oakside Park began to expand, campers reported children playing outside their tents at night. Though the children were never identified, complaints resulted in a, a strict campsite curfew. Well, I was going to say a, a, a curfew might be a little uh, progress saved in the scene selection menu. Booyah. Okay. All right. Cool beans, we have made it on to the next part, and I'm thinking this would be a good point to end it, but let's finish that thought, for, thought first. At first, I was going to say, a curfew is kind of a little extreme for a campsite, you know, being in the great outdoors, exploring, but nah, that actually seems sensible. Because, you know, there are all sorts of people, and you got to be got to be nice to each other. You know, can't be keeping each other up at night, because there are just a ton of people in often a relatively small area. At least, you know, the I mean, I have I've only been to, like, one campsite in the past year. <laughs> that one was a little small. That was a little, a little dense. So yeah, curfew makes sense. So you don't have people out making noise while others are trying to sleep. But yeah, this is beautiful, and we're gonna explore it even more in the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Slender: The Arrival. Let me know if you'd like to see more, because uh, I know that episode one did get some, uh, some good, so a decent amount of views compared to my other ones. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys would want to see me oh, get scared, but there's only a little bit in the beginning. That's uh, the sort of thing. You know, I seem to have been a little nervous at first, but once I sort of learned just how to stay safe and, uh, how to stay safe and how to, you know, just avoid him. You know, he just kept popping out, and I, I guess I just sort of got used to the effects, all the noises and stuff, and it just, you know started affecting me less and less but who knows probably next time i come around i will i'll be scared yet again and uh, have to warm up once again but yeah hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you'll be joining me next time i wonder what we'll be doing next because that was the familiar part back there this this is pretty new it's beautiful look at this ah oh. but yeah hope you enjoyed hope you'll be joining me next time but until then i'll be seeing you guys later i'm out